Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome to our home gym. So today Dusty and I are going to be talking to you guys about how we stay fit and sharing our top 7 tips to either maintain healthy weight or to lose a little bit of weight. Quick announcement before we jump right into today's video. Starting on Monday, June 7th, we are launching a massive group giveaway with some of our online plant-based friends who are here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. So for this giveaway, you're gonna get not just one, but three chances to win. We're giving away a brand new Vitamix, a brand new Instant Pot, and some of our favorite plant-based recipe books. The rules to enter the giveaway are super simple. Everything will be listed over on Instagram. So our friends that we teamed up with, like I said, are also here on YouTube. So be sure to follow us in both places, including Chelsea Mae Colon, Plant-Based Gabriel, Hungry Vegan Mama, and Crocs in the Kitchen. So jumping right into our top seven tips to help you stay fit, lose weight, or just maintain a healthy figure all from at home, Let's jump right into number one. Set a time every day that's going to be your time. Allot yourself anywhere from 45 minutes to one hour each day of the week. I would recommend working out three to five times a week, factoring in a couple of active recovery or rest days. So for me, the best time of day to start is first thing in the morning, especially being pregnant, having a toddler, being constantly on my feet, running around busy. I find that if I can knock it out first thing in the morning, I am certain to get it done. It helps to energize me and I don't have to think about it for the rest of the day. So it just feels like a weight has lifted off my shoulders. That time commitment is going to help ensure that you don't have to play mental ping pong in your brain. Should I work out? Should I not? Should I do it now? Should I not? And I just find the first thing in the morning works great for me. Maybe that means for you at the end of the day, right when you get off of work, no matter when it is, make it consistent because that allows you to build momentum. One day at a time, set a timer on your phone, whatever it takes, get it in same time every day. It can be super beneficial. Number two, keeping in mind that food is fuel. Have you ever heard the saying that you are what you eat? It's so true. You've probably also heard that you can't out-train a bad diet. So you guys know if you're watching our videos that we've been on a whole food plant-based diet for about seven years now and we're feeling better than ever. And in fact, I attribute like probably 90% of my physical health to my diet, believe it or not. But the truth is I'm stronger, faster, and do better in the gym now that I'm eating a whole food plant-based diet because I recover so much faster. I am properly fueled, so I actually get a better, longer workout. I get a better pump, and I'm actually able, like I said, to go longer and harder because I'm properly fueled. So being that we're on a high-carb plant-based diet, we're eating like probably 80% carbohydrates, which is actually what our body needs. If you guys Google search, what is the body's preferred fuel source? You will find glycogen. Where do you get that? From high carb foods like smoothies and the bananas and potatoes and all the foods that we eat. Of course we want our food to taste good, which it does. Like obviously all of our recipes are to die for, but again, not only do they taste good, they are properly fueling our bodies. Like in the best possible way to achieve our physical fitness goals. So keeping in mind food is fuel makes you kind of aware, not only again, just how you feel, but how you perform. And it makes your relationship with food actually better. So you realize maybe I don't need to eat quite as much or this fuels me really, really well. So I'm gonna have that in the morning as a pre-workout or I'm gonna have this after a workout as a post-workout, etc. So I actually remember an Olympic athlete talking about every decision they made with food. This is either hindering me or this is helping me. So we do that with our food too. Erin and I always say this is either helping or hindering and I'm just gonna leave what isn't helping me aside. Therefore, I lose the weight that I need to lose. I gain the muscle that I need to gain and I make all the positive gains in the gym because again, I'm being mindful of using food as fuel. Probably one of the number one questions I get in terms of physical fitness is, what are you using for a pre and post workout? Well, honestly, for years, I wasn't really using any anything because I'm not into like the sugary sports drinks. Definitely am not into caffeine. Neither one of Aaron and I drink caffeine, 
but something we've been using lately from one of our favorite companies, Complete Human, who actually agreed to sponsor this video is their product, Res Beet. So beetroot powder is something I've used in the past, but this product from Complete Human is like not only like great tasting, but it seriously gives me tons of healthy whole food energy. We've been using and loving Res Beet in our pre-workout shakes and just throwing it in our water bottles because beets are known to improve cardiovascular function, especially during physical activity. So they increase nitric oxide production and I don't want to get too nerdy on you guys Essentially that just helps you to go longer harder to get faster and stronger in your workouts to reach your fitness goals faster It also contains resveratrol, which is great for activating your longevity gene Can't say enough great things about Resby. It also tastes epic. Number three is make movement easy so again we converted our garage into our home gym again just because we wanted to make movement easy it's hard to get to the gym especially with kids and with Aaron being pregnant like we needed a bike and a treadmill is nice to have too and yes obviously if these things cost money but it's taken us years to kind of accumulate all of this equipment you can also just survive with a few resistance bands maybe a few dumbbells Maybe you travel a lot and you need to be able to work out in hotel rooms. Like figure out what you love and figure out how to do it from anywhere. For me, this started way back in the day. When I was a teenager, I bought a punching bag at a garage sale. I bought a few old dumbbells that I still have on the shelf here. And these things have lived with me. That being said, like I mentioned before, Aaron and I have added to our collection. So we've got a whole bunch of dumbbells here. We've got some adjustable dumbbells that we actually got later on. And I wish that we would have started with something like that because then you only need one set. We have like foam yoga mats here that are super lightweight very easy to travel with. The best and most inexpensive things, especially for traveling, are these resistance bands. So again, these things I've had for years and we take them with us on all of our trips and they make for a great workout. Something else that I have loved and always am working on are bikes. So I do have probably too many bikes hanging on the wall over here. But again, it's a hobby that actually also keeps me in shape. If all else fails, a good pair of running shoes and a yoga mat can get like all of us in shape, right? Some people prefer to just run and do yoga and that works for so many people. If you love it and it keeps you moving, go for it. So I used to be an avid gym goer, but I felt like I was barely hanging on to get there every single day. I'm all about efficiency and now being a mom of a toddler with another on the way, time is of the essence. So getting to the gym just wasn't feasible and on top of that it was always super expensive it took forever to get there I'd always get tied down talking to people which is fun but I'm all about getting in and getting out and being super effective with my workouts so maybe instead of your fancy gym membership you save time save money and invest in some of these nicer pieces of equipment namely a treadmill or a spin bike these have been lifesavers so when I was postpartum with Max I spent a lot of time on the treadmill just walking on an incline. It was an amazing form of exercise. It was very, very gentle and low impact that kept me moving and recovering in a healthy way. So our most recent addition during this pregnancy has been the stationary bike. Dusty mentioned loving cycling. We used to do it together, but it's definitely not safe or easy while you're pregnant. So being stationary has been a lifesaver. It's a very low impact, great cardiovascular workout. It's also super toning for your legs. You get a couple of two or three pound dumbbells going and you're getting an arm workout as well. The thing I love most about the Yes Soul Spin Bike is that it caught my eye just because it's super pretty. I like everything to be really white and clean and fresh and it was definitely at the top of my list when it came to aesthetics. Number two, it won't break the bank compared to a lot of the other fancy spin bikes out there. It's very reasonable and affordable, and you guys can get a discount with Eat Move Rest. It's linked below. So I've been loving this, especially during pregnancy, like I said. I've been finding tons of spin workouts on YouTube to do. So like I said, maybe look at your gym membership, how much it's costing you per month, calculate what that costs throughout the year, and look at how maybe you could be putting that money towards some of these nicer pieces of equipment instead. They're more accessible to use at home. Tip number four is find sources of motivation. So that is one thing that I do miss about going to the gym is 
group fitness, but after being quarantined and then having to learn how to work out at home, I've really come to love workout videos. So there are tons and tons of free options all over YouTube, including some that we've put out. We plan to make more in the future, so stay tuned for that. But workout videos have been a lifesaver for me because they keep me motivated, they keep me interested, and they're always changing. They're always different, so I don't feel like I have to worry about plateauing. So whether it's your favorite fitness guru on social media or your favorite playlist, whatever it may be, do what motivates you and keep doing it. Honestly, you guys, this is a little insider secret. If I didn't have a workout video to keep me focused and motivated, I would just flounder out here. I wouldn't know what to do. I would waste too much time in between on my phone. So I just find that flipping on a video keeps me focused and keeps me motivated. For me, it's important to find that one person, like that, that hulky he-man guy that's like super jacked or, or super fit that I can look up to and again, that motivates me to get my butt in the gym the next morning and work out extra hard. Again, like Aaron mentioned too, a good playlist is essential for me. Whether I'm getting on my bike for a long ride or doing the punching bag or lifting some weights in the garage, I have got to have like the best music going or my workouts just tend to fall flat. So put a good playlist together and like Aaron said, find that motivation. Number five, avoid the dreaded plateau. So we all know when we start something new, we're seeing results, we're feeling great, you're kind of in that honeymoon phase, and then all of a sudden things fall flat. We stop seeing results, it gets frustrating again. We don't know where to go or what to do to lose that last little bit of belly fat or go down that extra inch or maybe go up that extra size in your biceps. <laughs> what do we do to avoid the plateau? So I would say something that helps Dusty and I is simply the seasons. We're kind of almost forced to change what we do as far as exercise goes. Dusty bought us a space heater for our garage. So in the winter, when we're cooped up inside, we like to do really intense HIIT workouts and a lot of lifting. And then as it gets warmer outside, we're able to run and ride and be outdoors. So that helps us to change things up. This is super important to keep your body from plateauing. Keep your muscles guessing. So try new things, try new videos. That's one thing I love about workout videos is that there are always new routines coming out and that keeps me guessing. Probably the most important, no matter what your fitness or weight loss goals are, is rest and recovery. Rest is where gains are made. You can be killing your diet, you can be crushing it in the gym, but if you're not getting the proper rest and recovery, your workouts are basically all for nil. Like, you're not gonna see those results. You're not gonna have energy for the next best workout, and it's all gonna be a waste of time. So, make sure you're resting, I would say, at least eight hours a night. Some people say six to eight, some people say nine if you're young or if you're training really super hard, but Aaron and I always shoot for right at about eight hours, and again, it keeps me waking up ready to go full of energy. Every once in a while, like I'll have a good sore, like I've gone really, really hard, but I will say, in terms of especially being on like a plant-based diet, my recovery is like so much less. I'm less sore, I'm able to go harder, faster, stronger the next day, and again, it helps me to sleep like a rock. So how do we rest and recover better? Well, I'm always drinking some sort of sleepy tea, I'm loading up on magnesium, and lavender oil like on my chest and in my nose when I sleep. And again, something I've mentioned before in terms of like my mental health is another product from Complete Human, their CBC. So it's like CBD oil, but better. So what I love about Complete Human CBC oil is that it's a unique mashup of CBC, CBD, and CBG. So it's more readily absorbed and it works so fast. Like literally, it works in like five minutes, I start to get sleepy. So I no longer take this like in the evenings, I wait and take it right before bed because it really does calm me down and help me sleep. So this CBC is also good for muscle protein synthesis, which again, helps with recovery, helps you feel stronger the next day and ready to kill the next workout. Don't forget to stretch drink lots of water, and definitely get your sleep. So tip number seven, if you've got every other step dialed in, how do you keep the momentum going? How do you stick to it to continue seeing results and continue losing weight or getting more and more fit? 
I think it comes down to accountability. So that might be a personal health coach or a fitness instructor, or maybe your favorite guru on Instagram, but it could also mean your fitness tracker. This thing has been my best friend. I don't love to wear it all day every day, but I do love it for tracking my workouts and my steps. So it's made me more aware of when I'm sitting down for too long and it pings me and says, hey, maybe it's time to get up and start moving. So that's been helpful to rewire my brain to know that it's not just about my 30 minutes or 45 minutes in the gym, but it's also about continually staying active throughout the day. So this thing really holds me accountable, keeps me going, and like I said, it's tracking my steps, my heart rate, it even reminds me to slow down and take mindful minutes to breathe throughout the day. So whatever it is, whoever it is, find accountability so that you can continue getting fitter long term and make it sustainable. Yes, so Erin is loving her Apple Watch. I'm currently using a Garmin that I love. Again, GPS trackers for my runs and my rides. And then I actually like to upload my runs and my rides to certain platforms like Strava where I can share my rides and my workouts with all of my friends. So I have friends in Ireland, South Africa, Costa Rica who can see my workouts, who can cheer me on and say, hey man, you haven't posted in a while. What's up with that? And again, hold me accountable. We also have like dozens of friends on social media that help hold us accountable and could actually help you guys too. So don't forget about our giveaway and go follow those friends that we mentioned earlier. Earlier, a lot of these friends that we were mentioning and doing this giveaway with have like amazing health and weight loss stories of their own to help keep you guys motivated and inspired. So again, definitely go check them out, follow them, and tell them Aaron and Dusty sent you because again, we're all friends here. Let's create a community. All right, you guys, there you have it. Our top seven tips to stay fit, get motivated, and lose weight so you can feel your best. If you guys like this video, if you want to see more like it, give it a thumbs up. We've also been thinking about maybe sharing how we stay fit by sharing a what we eat in a week video. If that interests you, let us know in the comments. Oh, and if you guys are digging on any of our equipment, any of our supplements, anything we've mentioned, it's all linked in the description for you guys to find easily. Until next time, follow us on social media, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, make sure your bell is clicked to turn on notifications, and leave us some love in the comments below. Eat, move, rest, your best. Bye guys. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.